Why is it that men will sail the seven seas, climb the highest mountains, look into the vast expanse of the universe and, and try to unravel those mysteries, and yet, in the end, they're strangers to their own heart. For me, this journey has not really been about the art. It's been about really finding something more important in life and more, more lasting. What I've tried to do in the last year is actually take more of an inward journey and ask myself, what is it that we're really searching for? There's men that have come up here, their marriages are broken, they have broken relationships, broken families. They're good men, in many cases godly men, but life in some cases has been, has been hard. I really bonded with these men, and they have hearts of gold. I've traveled the world, been to 60 countries, six continents. I've climbed five of the seven summits. I've skied to the North Pole. I've journeyed to the ends of the earth. But I did not have the courage until the past year to make an 18-inch journey from your head to your heart. So we hope for good weather. I feel like I'm a better person, better father, better man because of the Ark expedition. We're looking for some type of redemption, some type of transcendent moment where we step out of the grind of life and we find something mystical, magical, something spiritual that just elevates our souls. I sought the Ark, but instead I found the face of God. <laughs>